So, any chance we can get the Maya version? Not a problem. Since we're already here on the topic, sure, why not? Now, this is gonna be a little different because the Maya community is very different from the Blender community. I get messages all the time from Blender users around other countries telling me just how much they appreciate the free content because one dollar for us is like three days of work for them. And it's because of this, I know that Maya will simply never be an option for these amazing people. And that's why I do my best to make all my Blender stuff free. If you're using Maya though, it usually means you're doing this professionally. Or you're a student who's training to do it professionally once you graduate. And when you 3D animate professionally, you're making on average $37 an hour. So if you're using Maya and you'd like to automatically generate your mocap blend shapes with a single click of a button, then you have two options. You can spend about two to three hours of your own time compiling, checking, and adding the mail script for each blend shape to make your own button, or you can buy mine for 50 bucks. Once you have the button, you never need to worry about facial blend shapes ever again. So like, if you have 10 characters that you need to facial mocap, and it takes you two hours to compile all the blend shapes for each, that's gonna be 20 hours of your time. But if you have the code though, that 20 hours of work turns into 15 seconds of work. So you can decide whether or not that's worth it for you. Some people enjoy doing everything by hand, and if you're one of those people, more power to you. But if you'd rather save some time, you can go to my art station and get my entire Maya facial mocap blend shape kit. The kit includes the code you need in order to automate your own blend shape button, an icon you can use for the button, an organized list of pictures for all the AR kit blend shapes straight from the official Apple library website, and an organized list of 5 second video clips of every single blend shape in action. So if you're ever like, oh shit I forgot what blend shape 37 looks like, you can go to this file, click 37, and it will show you the name and a short recording of that blend shape in action. Again, this is really just out of convenience. If you want to know how I made the mail script code, it's no secret, I'm very transparent transparent about it, you can see my video, things Blender should steal from Maya, and you can learn how to make your own button there. This is just if you want to be lazy and instead of doing the work yourself, you just buy mine. And also, again, the Blender version is always free, and Blender itself will always be free. So if you don't want to buy the Maya version, just download Blender and get the Blender version. Okay, now as for the code itself, it's extremely straightforward. In Maya, once you have 52 frames of each facial blend shape, make sure you combine everything on the head into one object, and name it face in all lowercase. Make sure that nothing else in your seam has the name face in it, and check to make sure that all the attributes on it are unlocked. From here, you copy the code you got from my art station, open the script editor, paste the code, and hit run. You're done. It should generate everything you need automatically onto the first head called Face Neutral. And all the blend shapes can be viewed in the animation editor over here. Alright, well, hope that helps. If you join me next video, I'll teach you everything you need to record facial motion captured data. And as always, hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.